The Buffalo Bills just made a huge mistake trading Stephon Diggs to the Houston Texans for a 2025 second round pick. For my people out there that like stats, let me give you a few about Stephon Diggs. Over the last four seasons, he's got the most receptions in the NFL with 445. He's fourth in yards with 5,372 and touchdowns with 37. But that's not the main thing. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Stephon Diggs has been essential to Josh Allen's success since he got to the Buffalo Bills. And guess what? Stephon Diggs just last night responded to a tweet about it and he agrees with me. And I don't know, maybe that was kind of the, the catalyst for him to get traded today. But the bottom line is a number one wide receiver always helps the quarterback. And Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs were way better together than they ever were apart. Going into this next season, they now have six of the team's eight captains no longer on the roster. Only Josh Allen and Von Miller return. But here's why it was such a mistake for them to get rid of Stephon Diggs. Josh Allen's development relied solely on Stephon Diggs. You see over the course of his career with Diggs there, he had increases in the amount of yards he threw, the touchdowns he threw, his completion percentage. And having Stephon Diggs on the field, even through the end of the year when he wasn't putting up great numbers, still helped the rest of the offense. But I got to say this. People don't understand that when teams play, pay a guy like Stephon Diggs, they're not paying them for input. They're paying them for their output, their production. But when you have a true number one wide receiver like Diggs, you have to do more to make that guy happy because of the impact they can make on your team. It's so monumental. It is worth all of the work you have to put in. So I don't think the Bills championship window is closed, but they are certainly further away from winning a championship because they got rid of Stephon Diggs and didn't get a monumental return in the trade with the Houston Texans. So now they've got to find a way to move up in the draft to go draft Marvin Harrison Jr. or Roma Dunze or a guy like Malik Neighbors because not only do they need one receiver, they now need two because they also lost Gabe Davis due to free agency. But I want you guys to look at this from a different angle. This angle about true number one wide receivers getting traded was something that I found fascinating. You're talking about guys like Brandon Marshall, Amari Cooper, uh, Odell Beckham Jr., uh, DeAndre Hopkins with the Houston Texans, A.J. Brown. All of these guys and Stephon Diggs were traded to teams because of there might have been some disgruntledness, they didn't have a great relationship with the coach, or the coaches just felt like they didn't need him anymore. But all those guys that I just mentioned, their coaches and GMs were fired either in the season that they got traded or shortly thereafter. Josh McDaniels and Brian Xanders got fired in the 2010 and the 2011 season. John Gruden and Mike Mayock, when they traded Amari Cooper, were eventually let go or fired in 2021 after letting him go in 2018. The list goes on and on. But when you look at Stefan Diggs in particular, when he was traded away from the Minnesota Vikings by Mike Zimmer and Rick Spillman, they got fired the year after in 2021. So when I look at Brandon Bean and Sean McDermott, what I'm saying to them is they have to understand that when you make this decision to take a $31 million cap hit and trade away your best player and not have a clear replacement for him, you are putting your job on the line even more. My point is very simple. For the Bills, they have to now go find a wide receiver, two of them bad boys, in a deep receiver class in the draft and get Josh Allen to prove that he can step his game up to the next level just like Mahomes did and become more efficient without a true number one wide receiver. Again, the real mistake was not fixing this last year. But now you look at what this does for the Houston Texans and C.J. Stroud. I mean, the bottom line is C.J. Stroud should be the MVP favorite going into the season now because he already had a phenomenal rookie year without Stephon Diggs and without Tank Dell down the stretch. So now you look at the Houston Texans and the moves that they're making. I know Cowboys fans are like, yo, this is what we should be doing, Jerry Jones. D'Amico Ryan's Nick Casario are doing a phenomenal job of using the rookie contract of, of C.J. Stroud and building around him knowing that they got that guy. So now their offense features guys like Joe Mixon and Damian Pierce at running back. They've got Stephon Diggs, Nico Collins, Tank Dell's coming back off the injury. They got Noah Brown, who had a great year last year. John Mechie, who just recovered from cancer this past season, is going to step up big for them. And they've got Dalton Schultz at tight end, along with Brevin Jordan. 
you know, this offense now is so dynamic with a quarterback in C.J. Stroud who disperses the ball around, gets everybody involved. And you've also got a defense with Will Anderson Jr. They just signed Danico Autry. They got Derek Stingley Jr. in the secondary. Jalen Petrie, my guy from Baylor, out there doing a great job. And Jimmy Ward. So this Houston Texans team now, on paper, you could make the argument that although they only won 10 games last year and they made the playoffs and won a playoff game and the Cowboys won 12 games, the Houston Texans are the best team in Texas right now. It's unbelievable. And if you think that Stefan Diggs, like I believe, Stefan Diggs helped Josh Allen become who he is today, CJ Stroud never needed Stefan Diggs. He already was that guy. So now he gets a true number one, even if he is 31, 30, 31 years old, he gets a true number one wide receiver. Oh my God, I can't wait for the football season to start because I know the Houston Texans are contenders for real. 